Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So today's video is all about how to set up your school semester right. And this video is actually a collaboration with a huge inspiration for my channel, Kenzie Elizabeth. I absolutely love her. She is so sweet, so down to earth, and we both grew up listening to jazz music, still love our jazz. We each love our coffee, our productivity. We both have some Southern roots, even though she's Texas and I'm Tennessee, but I am just so excited to collaborate with her today. And if you're new here from Kenzie's channel, hey, what's up, I'm Hannah, and I'm so happy you stumbled here. Like, thank you just for clicking on this video. First things first, you probably already know this, but you gotta have a planner. Um, I started having a planner in middle school, like, and then I got to college and I realized, oh, you can't survive without a planner because there's so many assignments and so many little due dates that the person that the professor will mention at the start of the semester and not mention again till the day it's due. And so the first thing I'm going to show you guys is how I set up my planner at the beginning of the semester. Okay, so this is my current academic planner. It is from Lavish Life. Um, she's actually a YouTuber, she's super cool. So I'll leave the link to her planner below. One thing I definitely use is the weekly schedule, especially for these first few weeks of school. Maybe you know your schedule by now, but if not, this is awesome. And what I like to do is I like to color code my schedule. I did this back uh, for the first semester and I do this now as well. So business law is going to be purple. ENL is pink. So even if you don't have this planner, you can at least color code your a schedule. I'm usually not that into color coding, like I don't color code my notes that often unless I'm really feeling it, I have some extra time, but I find this has really helped me. So then you're going to print off all your syllabi or you can just have them up on your phone. For me, I like having it printed out. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the monthly view for the next semester, so the next four months or so, and we are going to write in all of the big tests and projects first. So usually your teacher will have these like bolded, so on two six and business law I have my first exam yeah law exam one and so then you are going to write that in as I already did you're gonna go back to your color code and so business law is purple and so all of my law projects or exams I'm gonna highlight in purple on my monthly spread And I'm going to do that with all of my classes. So this is economics. So now you can see at a glance, and the reason I color coded it is because when you just looked at a blank calendar with black writing, it's like, oh, okay, that's cool. But when you look at it with the colors, you can see what you need to focus on that month. So for example, February, I have a lot of blue showing up and I know that's math. I have a lot of math projects in February, so I'm just getting myself ready, but I also have two econ exams. Meanwhile, in March, I don't have any econ exams. So I'm like, okay, I need to pay extra attention in February to econ notes, but in March, I'm okay. I just need to get ready for spring. Oh, I forgot one. So that's why I like to color code my classes and put out the big things in your monthly calendar. Then what I do at the beginning of each week, the first week of February, I have a lot due. So I need to go in and be like, okay, Monday, Monday, Bible test, Tuesday, econ exam and math project due. Wednesday, law exam. So you can just glance back at your monthly view for the big things. And then when the week comes or two weeks before, um, you can put it, you know, to study or to work on that project, that kind of thing. So that's what I use my monthly spreads for. Now what I'm going to do is for the next three weeks, for basically the rest of January, I'm gonna write in just my daily homework assignments. I have chapters to read before every class. And so I'm gonna write in um, when that's due, the class date it's due and what it is. So I don't have to keep looking at my syllabi because these are a lot of papers to keep track of, which classes to keep track of. And what I do in my planner um, is just so I know what subject it is, I always write the abbreviated, so econ or M MTH for math, and then I do a little dash, and then I write the assignment.
I had a great first semester, uh, but definitely my semester now is way harder and I have way more assignments, way more homework, and I also have a lot of YouTube goals and other things that I am planning on for the spring and summer. And I realized, Hannah, if you actually want to get done all that you need to get done, that you want to get done, you're gonna have to have a stricter schedule for yourself, less time sitting on the couch, eating chips and scrolling through Instagram, more time, plugged in at your desk, actually making the most of your day. So I decided to create a little spreadsheet on Google Sheets, which is a free application you guys can use if you have a Google account. And I decided to make a schedule. So I'm gonna walk you through that. So here's a screen recording of how I put my schedule together. I did this just to have a physical paper to look at when I get back from class at 9 a.m. and I'm like, okay, what should I do? Should I do YouTube? Should I do homework? I find that having this set schedule really helps me manage my time the best. So I put the time on the left, the days of the week in the at the top. Um, I put the main chunk of my day, 7 to 9 p.m. That's usually when I'm doing most of my stuff, whatever it may be. And the first thing I did was I put in all my classes. So if you're in high school, you may have to block out a larger time for high school, um, you know, eight to three or whatever. But for college, I recommend putting your college schedule, of course. And then in the mornings at seven is when I do my devotions. I get ready. I plan my day. And so I even wrote that in and I'm just adjusting the cells, as you can see, to be able to fit all of my writing. And then at 9 a.m. is about when I get back from class. And so for here, I put this is when I'm going to eat my breakfast because I just will drink coffee before class. And then I was kind of thinking about what I wanted to do in the morning. I decided that first thing when I get back from class, since I'm kind of in that class mindset, I'm going to do work, uh, homework, and then after the, my lunch time before my second class is when I'm going to switch my brain over to doing work stuff. So I call that podcast, YouTube, other aspects of my personal brand. Um, 11 a.m. is when I put all the meetings in my calls and I love having that set up because all my sweet mates are in class at that time so I won't be disturbing them and also I can know whenever someone wants to reach out to me to record, to meet, to call, I tell them 11 a.m. CST and usually it works for them and it's just great to always have the same time of my meetings um, three times a week to have that open so again like you're seeing I'm just putting in my day kind of how I want to lay it out when I want to get my workouts in my days differ based on my Monday Wednesday classes to compare to my Tuesday Thursday classes so I put in when I work out I put in when I was gonna work on my new project when I was gonna eat like I kind of mentioned last semester I realized that I was wasting too much time figuring out what I was gonna do next. Even if it's just 10 minutes, that 10 minute break you're giving yourself like, okay, should I keep doing homework or should I go out to lunch? Should I go for a walk? Should I work out now? Like, little times in between your day when you're trying to figure out what to do next is actually gonna add up in the long run. And so I found that by making the schedule and doing the same thing in the same order every day, it is going to help my body get in that routine and help me, yeah, get everything done that I need to get done. And here comes the fun part. I changed the fonts, I changed, and then I added color coding. So I I color coded my classes to be um, all one color for the cells and then all of the time I was doing homework the same color all of my work color my workouts um, my personal time all of that kind of stuff again Google Sheets is uh, very easy to use if you haven't used it before there are other tutorials on YouTube of course but yeah just color coding can make it super super fun to look at <laughs> and easier for you to understand it out schedule I put it up here above some a school chart and then my mood board um, you can also make this your desktop screensaver something like that but I just like having it just like having it here since we're in a dorm and I don't have too much space I don't have another room I can go into for a study spot I found my favorite study spot is just right here but I try to make it as cozy as possible but also a place I can work so a few things I like to have on hand are of course headphones in case um, I need noise canceling or need to listen to a video um I love my blue light glasses these just help if I'm looking at a computer screen all day since I can't have a candle you guys know I love my diffuser and so I love putting in scents that are more awakening during the day and then relaxing at night so right now I have like lemon and tangerine in you probably know dorm lighting is not the cutest we not a huge fan of the fluorescent lighting so I love having lamps throughout my workspace um, so I can work even when it's gray and rainy outside like it is today so that is my little workspace. And then here's our snack wall. Skylar and I both have some snacks here. Some of my favorite study snacks um, throughout the day just to eat because I just 
want to kind of munch on stuff and have things to sip but don't want to constantly be drinking like eight dollar lattes so i love mint tea because it kind of curbs any coffee cravings i have throughout the day i love laura bars to take to class because you can eat them quickly which is nice if you know you don't want to be super loud while the teacher's talking i love granola and yogurt this is currently my favorite granola with just chobani yogurt i love making power water is kind of what i call it so this is actually from young living essential oils it is a called nisha red it is their essential oil infused wolfberry supplement and it's basically like a grown-up juice box okay it has lots of vitamins in it and it gives you like nat nice natural energy so i love putting this in my water with some lemon oil to help get me through my day and then this is actually the young living essential oil energy drink kind of like a more flavorful lacroix so this isn't sponsored by them i am a seller but i just love their products and I use their products more than I sell them but I just like to tell you guys about them so I will take these to class um, for just a really yummy pick-me-up rather than coffee if I've had too much coffee during the day that was it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed go check out Kenzie's video and her channel her podcast all amazing content love her to death and I will see you guys in two days for my next dream it achieve it series going on in January I can't believe we're already halfway through January that's crazy but the series is still going strong and I just want to thank you guys for all of your support okay I love you so 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 much and I will see you then bye peace out